हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 11.9 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर इन प्रॉब्लम नंबर 1 फाइंड द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द पॉइंट P फ्रॉम द लाइन L इन द फॉलोइंग केसेस सो फर्स्ट हियर यू हैव टू नो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस from a point to a line okay suppose here d is the perpendicular distance okay that means small d is the perpendicular distance okay of the point suppose here p x1 y1 okay d is the perpendicular distance of the point p x1 y1 from the line here a x plus b y plus c equal to 0 then here the formula of d or the distance between this the point and the line that is here within mod you have to write down here a x1 plus here b y1 plus c within mod remember that then divided by root over a square plus b square okay so that is the formula to find out the distance from a point to a given line now here question number 1 in question number 1 1 p 3 minus 5 okay the coordinate of p and here the line is 3x that one is minus 4y then here minus 26 that one equal to 0 so that means here you can write down x1 y1 that is here 3 and minus 5 and here value of a equal to here value of a equal to here 3 value of b equal to minus 4 value of c equal to minus 26 okay it's clear okay now here d equal to within mod a x1 that means here a means 3 so 3 into 3 then minus here next one sorry it's plus next one here b b means minus 4 and b into y1 y1 means minus 5 Then here plus c that means it's minus 26 within mod. Then root over a square. A square means 3 square. And then here b square. So here you can write down minus 4 whole square. Okay. So now here it's 9. That one equal to here minus one. It's 20. Then here minus 26 within mod. Root over 9 plus 16. Okay. So here 29 minus 26. That one equal to here 3. And here root 25, that means 5. So here your answer 3 by 5 units. It's very easy. Okay. Now let's move on to the next problem. Here next problem number 1 2. In 1 2 you have p minus 1 1, and here the line is 12 into x plus 6, then 5 into y minus 2. So first you have to convert this equation in the form a x plus b y plus c. Okay, so first multiply with 12. It's 12x. Then that equal to 72. Then 5y. Then minus 10. So that one equal to you can write down 12x minus 5y. Then here 82 equal to 0. So now here d equal to here mod a x1. That means here 12 into minus 1. So minus 12 plus as here b minus. So 5 into 1. It's minus 5. Then here plus 82. Okay, divided by root over a square. This means 12 square, so 144, and then b square minus 5 square. That means here 25. So as here 12 and 5, it's 17. So 82 minus 17, that one equal to here 65. And then here 144 plus here 25. That means 169. So root over 169, it's 3. 3 cancel out this one. That one equal to here 5 units as your answer. Now next one, sum number two. Find the value of k given the distance of the point. Suppose here p point that is here four and one from the line here the line three x minus four y plus k that one equal to zero is four units. That means here d equal to four. So here within mod first write down three into four it's twelve. Then here minus four into one it's minus four and then here in the place of c write down k. Then here root over Here a square that means three square so nine four square that means sixteen and that one equal to here four so that means here you can write down eight plus k 
and as here root 25 that means 5 so 4 into 5 it's 20 okay so it means here 8 plus k that one equal to here 20 okay 8 plus k that one equal to 20 so here you can write down k equal to 20 minus 8 it's 12 that is the first answer now as here mod 8 plus k so you can also write down this one as minus 8 plus k okay that one equal to here 20 so here you can write down minus k equal to 20 and here plus 8 so that means here k equal to minus 28 okay there will be two answer first one k equal to 12 and k equal to minus 28 now next one sum number 3 find the distance between the following pairs of line so first you have to know the formula suppose you have two equation equation of line that means here ax plus by then here plus c that one equal to 0 and second one here ax plus by here plus c dash that one equal to 0 so c and c dash are separate element remember that here ax that means here coefficient of x will be same and coefficient of y will be also same okay remember that then here the condition that means the required distance the required distance between these two line if you call this one as d so in that case here the formula will be within mod c dash minus c divided by root over a square plus b square okay so here i am going to solve question number three with the help of this formula so as here in 3 1 15 x plus 8 y minus 34 that one equal to 0 here 15 x plus 8 y plus 31 that one equal to 0 so first you have to check that here the coefficient of x is 15 15 that means equal coefficient of y 8 8 it's equal so you can easily apply the formula so now here distance equal to here mod c dash c dash means here 31 then here c c means here minus 34 so minus minus it becomes plus within mod then divided by root over first year 15 square and then next year 8 8 square means here 64 okay so as here 31 plus 34 so 31 plus 34 that one equal to here 65 now here 15 square means 225 so 225 plus 64 that one equal to here 289 so root over 289 that one equal to 17 so 65 by 17 units is your answer now the next one number 2 so here in number 2 you have here y equal to mx plus c here y equal to mx plus d so that means here you can write down this one equal to minus mx plus y minus c that one equal to 0 and here minus mx plus y minus d that one equal to 0 so if you multiply minus okay no need to multiply minus just write down here in this way so here the distance formula will be here within mod then here minus d then here minus minus it's c so within mod minus d plus c and here root over so here minus m whole square that means m square and then here one square okay so here you can write down this one as c minus d within mod and here root over one plus m square units okay that is your answer now here sum number 3 so here in sum number 3 you have y equal to 2x plus 4 then here y equal sorry 3y or you can write down this one as 6x equal to 3y plus 5 so first equation will be here minus 2x plus y minus 4 that one equal to 0 second equation here 6x minus 3y minus 5 that one equal to 0 so now here the previous one is first one that means minus 2x plus y minus 4 that one equal to 0 and second one here 6x minus 3y minus 5 equal to 0 that means here the coefficient of x and y are not equal so do one thing first you have to divide this equation the equation number 2 with minus 3 so it becomes minus 2x that one equal to here plus y and that one equal to here plus 5 by 3 that one equal to 0 now the coefficient of x and y equal so now you can apply the formula so here 5 by 3 then here plus 4 divided by root over minus 2 whole square means 4 1 square means 1 so now here you can write down after lcm it will be here 17 by 3 and its root 5 
so it means here 17 by 3 root 5 so 3 root 5 means you can write down this one as root 45 units as your answer now sum number 4 a vertex of a square is at the origin origin means here 0 0 okay it one side lies along the lines here 3x minus 4y minus 10 that one equal to 0 find the area of the square that means here the distance between this point 0 0 and this line is the side of the square so first you have to find out the length of that side so here distance formula you know that and here the formula is first write down in mod then a x1 okay so that means 3 into 0 then next one here plus b y1 so here minus 4 into 0 and then next one here plus c that means here minus 10 within mod then divided by root over a square plus b square that means 3 square 9 4 square means 16 so that one equal to here minus 10 within mod and then divided by root over 25 so that means here 10 by here 5 okay so that equal to 2 so as here the distance is 2 units so here area of square that one equal to 2 into 2 so 4 square units now next one sum number 5 so here in sum number 5 if the equation of the base of an equilateral triangle that is x plus y that equal to 2 and the vertex is 2 minus 1 so suppose here this one is an equilateral triangle okay a b c that means all the sides are equal so a b is equal to b c equal to a c suppose here b c is the base so here x plus y minus 2 that one equal to 0 okay x plus y minus 2 that one equal to 0 is the equation of the base now here the vertex but you don't know which vertex is this one 2 minus 1 it's either a or b or c but suppose here if it's b that means here this point b point definitely satisfy this equation if you take b as 2 minus 1 then 2 minus 1 definitely satisfy this equation as well as c for c also but here if you put 2 and minus 1 in this equation so it will be here 2 then here minus 1 minus 2 so it will be that one not equal to 0 that means 2 minus 1 does not satisfy this equation so that definitely here a will be 2 minus 1 that means you have to take a as 2 minus 1 that is the reason okay because b and c if you take b and c as 2 and minus 1 then 2 minus 1 does not satisfy with this equation so now here if you draw a perpendicular distance from a to here that one is d okay so here it's small d so now you can easily find out the distance between this point and this straight line so here within mod write down here a x1 so a means here 1 so 1 into 2 it's become 2 then next one here b y1 so here minus 1 into 1 so it's 1 and then next one here minus c that means here minus 2 okay divided by root over a square means 1 square and then again 1 square so that one equal to here minus 1 within mod okay divided by root 2 so you can write down this one as 1 by root 2 okay so here the distance is 1 by root 2 now in equilateral triangle you know that height height of triangle that one equal to root 3 by 2 into side and here you have to find out the length find the length of the side so here height of the triangle is 1 by root 2 here it's root 3 by 2 into side so that imply side equal to you can write down 1 by root 2 into 2 by root 3 so it's cancel out with this one so it becomes here root 2 by 3 okay it becomes here root 2 by 3 that is your answer now next one sum number 6 here in sum number 6 find the distance of the point 0 minus 1 from the joining the points 1 3 and minus 2 6 so first one here 0 minus 1 and here joining the line so 1 3 and minus 2 6 that means here first you have to find out okay first you have to find out the equation of the line joining these two points okay 
and guys this is the last sum for this video so if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here the equation suppose here this one is x1 y1 this one is x2 y2 then you know the formula y minus here y2 that means here 6 that one equal to here y2 minus y1 so 6 minus 3 here x2 minus x1 then here x minus here this one you can write down uh, as 2 so that means here 2 so here y minus 6 then this one equal to 6 minus 3 is 3 so here minus 3 then here x plus 2 so that means here y minus 6 here minus 1 x plus 2 so that imply y minus 6 minus x minus 2 so that means here y plus 6 here minus 4 that one equal to 0 so that is the equation y plus x minus 4 equal to 0 now if you want to find out the distance between this point and then straight line so here this one will be here a x1 that means 1 into 0 it becomes 0 then b y1 it's minus 1 then here minus 4 and then root over it's 1 plus 1 that means 2 so now here within mod you can write down minus 5 because minus 1 minus 4 it become minus 5 here root 2 so that one equal to 5 root 2 units as your answer